Mayor Adams again urges Albany to pick up half of migrant tab. With hat in hand, Mayor Eric Adams made his annual pilgrimage to Albany on Tuesday to again employ state lawmakers for more migrant crisis aid, along with another four years of mayoral control of public schools and a bevy of housing reforms. <coughs> His the travel to the state capitol for, an, for the annual event known as Tin Cup Day, a pilgrimage of local officials appealing to state lawmakers for greater funding in the upcoming budget against the backdrop of criticisms that he has struggled to score many wins there during his first two years in office, something that he forcibly, fiercely denies. The mayor made his case Tuesday morning during a joint hearing of the state Senate Finance Committee and Assembly Ways and Means Committee, asking that the state should shoulder 50% of the city's projected $10.6 billion migrant crisis tap among, amounting to $4.6 billion. Adams called for the same halfway split last year, but Governor Kathy Hoko and the state legislature declined to go that far, giving the city around $1 billion instead. When she rolled out her 2025 executive budget proposal last month, <coughs> Hoku proposed another $2.4 billion in migrant aid for the city this year. But the mayor's budget director, Jaquez Jiha, said Tuesday that the figure actually contains just $1.1 billion in newly committed funding in addition, Jaha uh, argued the state money is far from enough to cover the expense because it is based on an assumed three-way cost split between the city, state, and federal government. With the expectation that Washington will not come through with substantially more su support anytime soon, Adams call for the state to step up its allocation. New Yorkers are already carrying most of the asylum, asylum seekers' costs, Adams said. It is wrong to ask them to do more, and it puts our city in a pre precarious, precarious position. The $1.3 billion portion of the $2.4 billion that Hoke already committed is going towards paying for large-scale migrant tent shelters known as Humanitarian Emergency Response and Relief Centers, H-E-R-R-Cs, at the Creemore Psychiatric Center in Queens, Randall's Allen, and Brooklyn's Floyd Bennett Field, Adams said. The $1.1 billion in newly committed Funds will pay for housing, food, and other services for the roughly 67,000 migrants still in the city's care. When asked by Manhattan State Senator Brad Hoyleman Sigal if he would commit to restoring the deep budget cuts made in November and last month once receiving the new state funds, Adams said that the $2.4 billion Hoko plans to give the city would not be enough. <clears throat> he enacted the city, he enacted the cuts to balance the budget in the face of more mountain costs partially driven by migrants' influx. This is a moving crisis that we don't see an end to, the mayor said, while pointing to some restorations he made last month to service cuts at the NYPD, city public libraries, and education education department. As much as we can prevent the upcoming cuts, we would like to do so, he added. That's all I have to say for this video.